When working with equilibria, a lot of the time you'll have to do calculations where you relate initial concentrations to equilibrium concentrations. And to do this, we can use simple stoichiometry involving mole ratios. We can say that for every one nitrogen molecule, there are two nitrogen monoxides. We can say that there are two hydrogens for every two nitrogen monoxides. And so on and so forth. We can write all of these mole ratios and we can take initial conditions and we can work out equilibrium conditions by doing limiting reagent calculations exactly like we've done before. But if you're trying to track all of these different types of relationships at the same time, doing all of those individual calculations can be kind of tedious. So one way to streamline this is to use something called an ice table for initial change and equilibrium. And the ice table basically relies on this change term. And the change term corresponds to the mole ratios. So for every two nitrogen monoxides that get used up, two hydrogens will be used up one nitrogen will be produced, and two waters will be produced. The stoichiometric coefficients determine how much reacts. So what we can do is we can write this in the change column. Nitrogen monoxide will change by two units. Hydrogen will change by two units. Nitrogen will change by one unit. And water will change by two units. The next thing to do is to add signs to those changes. Typically, you'll set up the equation so that the left-hand side, the reactant side, has high initial starting concentrations, and that means that they will decrease and the product concentrations will increase. If the reactants are decreasing, their change will be negative, and the products will be increasing, so their signs will be positive.